Today, the search picking back up to find a field geologist who's been missing for more than a month now. Daniel Robinson has been missing for nearly two months. It has been three months since a Valley man went missing. A man who disappeared in neighboring Arizona nearly three months ago is still nowhere to be found. 24 year old Daniel Robinson's car was found along with some of his belongings, but no sign of Daniel. And then a human skull was discovered near the car, but that only raised more questions when testing showed it didn't belong to him. Hello, friends. Today, we're going to be looking into the strange disappearance of Daniel Robinson. Daniel Robinson, 24-year-old geologist from Columbia, South Carolina, has been missing since he was last seen leaving a job site in the area of Sun Valley Parkway and Cactus Road on June 23, 2021. Later that day, he was reported missing, and nobody has seen or heard from him since. Daniel graduated from the College of Charleston in South Carolina with a degree in geology in 2018. A missing persons flyer was released to the public, and investigators of the Buckeye Police Department began speaking with friends and family to determine where Robinson may have gone. According to loved ones and those who knew him best, there was no indications that Daniel had wanted to leave his life behind or harm himself in any way. However, it was also stated to be very unlike him to not have told anyone why he was leaving the job site in the middle of the day or where he was going. Cell phone and financial records have provided no indication of Robinson's possible whereabouts, according to the police. Robinson was last seen driving his 2017 Jeep Renegade heading west further into the desert area of Sun Valley Parkway just north of Cactus Road in Buckeye. While reviewing phone records, investigators did notice a single ping that came from his cell phone, but there was no available data as to the location because, as they stated, the phone was either out of range or turned off. It did not appear as though Daniel had made any calls or texts after leaving the job site on that fateful June day, however. On the 19th of July, a rancher who owned property about four miles southwest from the job site where Daniel was last seen made a call to police and reported having found what looked like Daniel's Jeep on his property, wrecked and abandoned. Daniel was nowhere around as far as the man could tell. It was determined fairly quickly to indeed be Daniel's Jeep, and its hat was found that was very concerning. It was stuck in a deep ravine with significant damage and appeared to have rolled and landed on its side, Buckeye police said at that time adding that Robinson's cell phone, wallet, keys, and clothing were all found at the scene. The vehicle's airbags had also deployed. The Buckeye Police Department also stated that because of the rough terrain, the vehicle was not clearly visible to crews searching by air and on foot. The detectives in charge of the case immediately began an official and thorough search around the area where the vehicle was found. They employed search dogs, aerial helicopter searches, and even searched by foot, all to no avail. Daniel Robinson, it seems, had disappeared without a trace. Police reported that they had searched an area of more than 70 square miles, together with outside agencies, and utilized ATVs, cadaver dogs, a helicopter, and even a drone. Although no further evidence of Daniel or even a hint as to what happened to him other than the wrecked vehicle was found anywhere. In a statement issued after the initial search, Buckeye police added that, based on the personal effects found in Daniel's vehicle, no foul play is suspected. However, Daniel's family and the private investigator that they've hired disagree. For one, a private investigator believes that Daniel's Jeep had been crashed several times in different locations before coming to rest on its side in the ravine. Another thing that they found extremely suspicious is that the very clothes Daniel was wearing, every single item, was found in a pile mere feet away from his crashed Jeep. On July 31st, there was a human skull found a bit south of the area where his Jeep was recovered but it was later forensically determined to not be that of Daniel Robinson. No further human remains of any kind were found in the search area or around the area where the skull was found. Daniel had recently moved to Phoenix for work, 
and it wasn't at all unusual for the job to have him working on sites in remote desert locations, often in extreme conditions. His father, David Robinson II, has traveled from his home in South Carolina to continue the search for his son and for answers as to what happened. He's also set up a GoFundMe page to pay for a private investigator, along with flyers, continued searches, and other expenses. In mid-July, Daniel's father claimed that the Buckeye Police Department stopped putting in the necessary effort. He even began organizing search parties of his own and brought in his own private investigator and forensic analysis team. He's launched two websites and a Twitter page to help streamline the project. David Robinson's efforts are ongoing, with a volunteer party set to conduct a search on October 2nd. He is still calling on the Buckeye Police Department to revamp their efforts and conduct a more thorough investigation into Daniel's disappearance. Daniel Robinson is described as 5'8", with black hair and brown eyes, and is missing a right forearm and hand. Anyone with information can submit tips via Robinson's website, which you can find in the description, or by contacting the Buckeye Police Department at 623-349-6400. Well, there you have it, folks. What do you think of this strange disappearance? Why would Daniel shed all his clothing and take off into the desert? Did he perhaps have a head injury? Or was he forced to do this by someone else? Was this purely an accident, or was there something more nefarious going on? Why would Daniel suddenly leave a job site in the middle of work? At this time, none of this makes any sense. I look forward to reading your comments, but we do ask that you please keep it friendly and respectful. Many times, the family and friends of these missing persons watch these videos and read the comment section. Please don't say anything you wouldn't want to read, if this was your friend or family member, loved one being discussed. In the meanwhile, be good to yourselves and each other. Be careful out there. I'll see you just a little farther on down the trail. I'm Steve Stockton, and I'll talk to you next time.